Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity OJ 38J 688 Infinity Infinity B 45545 Infinity Infinity B 1 T T Infinity Legend and more info available at archangelicalendar.com we see a drastic shift in the Archangelic calendar causing a very sudden change in gateway availability. This is for certain, in response to the extreme galactic conflict, in the outer run of the galaxy. This was finished with an extreme use of power, but it was not without consequence. You will notice an energetic wind of sorts that will have varying degrees of intensity. This is common after these conflicts and are caused from all the motions in the galactic neighborhood. If that was not enough, we have waves of new ascended masters rising causing a tidal wave of emotions as well creating an unstable energy cocktail. Many pray for peace yet also wish for final resolution. While this is perfectly understandable, it causes a contradictory offering to creation. We are creating the age of Aquarius as we go and what is manifesting is our heart's median. The will for peace and the will for sudden change is at odds with each other because sudden change is not normally peaceful. This is causing us to walk the road of gradual change, and there is nothing wrong with that path either. This path has more peace than chaos but will flutter back and forth from time to time. For those who have grown impatient of waiting for the grand entrance of the new age, we say that you must realize and honor this inner conflict that lays within us all and choose the acceptance of inevitable Chan. Gee, we know for certain that we cannot regress and if we can wake up knowing this, it may ease the discomfort. You cannot assume that you know the reason why someone is playing the role of an extreme bad guy but nevertheless, you must know that its purity lays within itself dormant. Archangel Gabriel. Enough microtalk, let's get macro. Most of humanity's 7.8 billion people do not have enough belief in their ability to work metaphysically as of yet. If that is not the case, and for most light workers it is not, feel free to use your own tools and abilities for assign me. NTS. For the others, the tools below will help you bridge the belief gap, as your belief in the said being would come into play as well. The following tools will only be available until the mark of the next Archangelic Day, next day's official post. Envision yourself using said tools with a pure heart and intentions. A warning to all who try to yield unworthy, these things have their own will. Please make a mental note of what you wish to equip. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. Active equals intention needed to yield. Aggressive equals will attack before anything has a chance to do any harm. Active, passive and aggressive anywhere within the universe. The violet flame team has shifted into the balance of three, from the balance of nine. This means that we we are starting to toggle in balance. If it helps, you can imagine 9 as steady control and 3 and 6 as the alternating hands on which it adjusts itself. The set of circumstances that revealed this shift in formation is beyond mysterious and is no doubt also a consequence of the galactic scuffle. The violet flame team is as follows and is in no particular order, Archangel Germain, Archangel Anseel, Archangel Zardakil, Archangel Orion, Archangel R. Agul, Archangel Bryathos, Archangel Barthkol, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Emmanuel, Archangel Kirkel, Archangel Gzrel, Archangel Galizur, and Archangel Adonai. Active long and short range. Archangel Michael's legendary sword can handle anything, as it is completely omnipotent, there is no level of co consciousness that can be achieved that this couldn't slice through. 
It is also an amazing weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Active long range, passive, active and aggressive short range. Archangel Isix radiant field looks a lot like Magneto's force field and it reacts to any life form with either loving energy, or with transmutation owl blast of vast power. Passive and aggressive, long or short range anything in your jurisdiction. Archangel Leo's Swords of Plenty, is a passive and aggressive attack sword that has a complete will of its own. Do not try to yield at all, you will only get in the way, equip and go. Passive and aggressive, long and short range. Archangel Pasigenius Visions allows for the full empathy of infinitely expanding creator source to penetrate any personal blockages you may be dealing with. Passive short range. Archangel Gabriel's Shield of Truth allows righteousness and justice to be your greatest defense. When equipped, this allows truth to protect and serve us. This shield also helps bring abundance to our lives. Passive anywhere in your jurisdiction. Archangel Barman's Wand O oh Brilliance brings common sense to any being at any time. If your child is trying to do something against common sense use the bopper. This is the most gentle archangelic tool of all time, and does nothing more to the target than bring a der realization to them. It does not work immediately so allow time based upon age of target. Works faster on a one year of than a 14 year old. Please note the next three tools are healing modalities and can be sent remotely to loved ones. Passive and aggressive short range. Archangel Calesiel's radiant rays of health wards off all diseases and illness. It can also aid in the recovery of diseases already inflicted. It can be sent to land masses as well as individual living beings. Passive and aggressive short and long range. Archangel Thelial's radiant compassion sends heartfelt love to all in within your jurisdictions. This is the nurturing aspect of healing and is and it has incredible warmth. It is best to yield this with a calm frame of mind. Active long or short range. Archangel Raphael's healing staff is an omnipotent healing force that works gradually or intensively depending on how you yield it. It is considered the best general healing instrument. Please note the next three tools are meant to be used in combination. They are sent to us to help us sustain our physical bodies. Please keep using this tool daily, we are starting to remove the energy blockages surrounding abundance. If you need help using the below tools, envision gold bars using Archangel Ariel's wand and set it on fire using Archangel Nasaragil's and Archangel Israfil's swords. I say envision gold because Gaia controls gold and cash money, well ya know that story. Also, the Galactic Federation trades in gold and manifesting in this method also aligns with the currency methods and any divinity-based currency system. Active. Archangel Ariel's Wand of Comforts, helps you summon any necessity you may have. It is a wonderful and comforting tool when equipped. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Israfil's flaming sword can protect you against all things directed to you on a macro or micro scale. It can also speed up the time in which something you wish to manifest will come to fruition. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Nasaragil's flaming sword can bring any negative energy to its knees. It also has the ability to remove any and all obstacles in the way of something you wish to manifest. Assignments. 1. Atlantis, I truly appreciate that people are noticing my prognostications are correct and giving me credit for being first to report the issue in Thetlantian tunnels under the CA.
Ribbine Islands. I just want to make clear that the other part of the sentiment of that prognostication is more important, that with enough effort, we can change this. If we see the earthquakes in the area go up in intensity, then we are not being as effective as we could be. I would rather have no harm to people than be proven wrong every time. The Atlantean crystal is very receptive to energy. We must put forth more effort to make these prognostications invalid. I am confident enough in my own abilities to know that it would only be by the hand of the collective light. Or cause, to have changed this momentum. So please be diligent to this task, we can do it. The situation in Atlantis is very volatile and it is clear the crystal in the center of the rising island is still involved in a massive sub-planetary tug of war. Rainbow plasma will balance and calm the crystal if we can provide more energy than the parties on site. The other energies at the site are trying to activate its weaponry we must keep it in a peaceful setting as she rises. The other thing that will help stabilize the Caribbean and Atlantis is by activating the 144 temples around the Atlantic Ocean. Most are hidden under dirt and underwater, and the coastlines would have to be psychic life scanned area by area to find them all. Once you find them diamond lightning will activate the temples with ease. 2. There is an old saying that goes, do no evil, hear no evil and speak no evil. That was turned upside down by removing the do part, and has since become an anthem of a curse. This curse says, if you speak evil, evil turns itself in upon you, if you see it the same. This also protects evil against any harm done to evil as a result of their evil. This spell can easily be broken by approaching this correctly. There is a chant can be done via mental projection to solve this is and it is a term that reminds darkness of the divinity. The phrase is ek onkara or ik onkara pronounced ik kum pa and should be directed towards all darkness conscious or not that is involved with the above situation. It can also be sent as a blanketed projection to all life as well. In short, the phrase means that there is only one source, one God, one source of divinity. If we go back up, down or around, the fact remains that we are all cells in the body of one gigantic living universe. The term Ik Ankara brings anything or anyone back to source, almost as if they are entranced to do so. This can be directed at this dark enchantment and if we can succeed in doing this, we will have freezes ourselves from one more chain that binds us to slavery. 3. We are all about the protection of the innocents, but I urge you to not forget out the plants and trees in our daily blessings. That is assuming you are doing a macro daily blessing along with your micro daily blessings. Please send all plant life brown daylight for 72 seconds.